Hey filmmakers, Shonda here. In this video, I'm going to make a YouTube intro inside of Premiere Pro. I'm going to challenge myself by using only standard transitions to animate it. However, I'm going to use, of course, some effects to make the background and also some design elements with cropping and also masking. But mainly the animations will be with just the standard transitions. So the main thing about YouTube intro, I feel like five seconds should be the maximum. Anything longer, I feel like people are just trying to get more watch time. Let's actually make a background here. So we we'll go to new items, choose color mat, and then press OK. I'm going to choose like a dark blue, which is my own preference. You can make it in any color that you want and drag this onto the timeline. And you might notice this is already on five seconds. Go to effects and I'm going to use Lumetri color. And we're going to effects control and go to vignette because standard uh, color mat is just maybe too dull because it's just flat color, one flat color. So we're going to drag this down to add this dark corner Add a little bit more feathering and change the roundness a little bit. So this, when we toggle it on and off, we can see it's a little bit less dull. And to make it even more interesting, we're going to add uh, another color mat on top here. And we're going to add some more design elements. Going to effects control, going to uh, generate, and we're going to use the cell pattern here and this is going to add this which doesn't look really pleasant to look at uh, for and we're going to change this disperse to zero going to make this contrast here to 5000 so we get this uh, dotted pattern going on and actually I'm going to open this motion here change this to 30 degrees going to scale this up and we're going to make this to the size to 30 which we now have like a more interesting pattern going on that's not just straight lines or straight dots in a row and going to blend mode choose screen or lighten and we're going to change the opacity to 20. So now I have this dotted pattern going on that's very light in the background. So it's in more interesting instead uh, just of, yeah, just a flat uh, color. So now this we can select both of them and nest them together. So right mouse click and choose nest. Press OK. Uh, Main, I'm nesting them so we can uh, transition this to the video clip without an issue. So we're going to drag this video clip here. So this should be the start of the video. So we're going to drag this here after. And we're going to just use a simple transition. And we're going to go to video transitions. And I'm just going to use a standard wipe. So drag this onto here and it won't go in between it like your normal two video clips because um, yeah, it's kind of with a nested, it doesn't do that well. And um, going to effects control and instead of this vertical wipe, we want to make it diagonal. We're going to choose this top left corner here. So it's a little bit more interesting of a wipe. So because it also kind of follows the pattern. The pattern is in a different angle, but still it looks like it follows a little bit. We're going to drag the YouTube here. And this actually looks quite nice, but we want to be a little bit bigger. And actually I don't want to have the word YouTube here and I want to use the YouTube logo actually to be the shape of the picture uh, where I'm in. So let's make this much bigger. Um, 
think 300 that's big and nice and we're going to use a crop effect to crop away the text so crop and this here so crop from the right and just so we don't have the YouTube text anymore and now going to move this to the center and this is really by eye so you can't <laughs> there is no like easy way to do this uh, we can turn on safe margin to see where the middle is about but it still is kind of by eye guesstimate where the middle is and I feel like this should be fine over here and now we are going to duplicate this hold on alt and drag one up and we're going to hide the top one and we're going to effects and we're going to search for tint and drag this onto the bottom one so it becomes black and white uh, but we want to make this entirely white or any color that you want um, personally I'm just going to make this totally white by selecting this map to black or black map black to and change this to white so now this is entirely white and now we can grab my picture here and let's make this transparent so we can move it into place so let's scale this down so it's like that and move it a little so can scale down a little bit more and I think that should be fine now opacity back to 100 and we're going to right mouse click on this and choose nesting press ok also on the bottom one going to choose nesting press ok and drag this all the way to the top so this top one we're going to use as a mask for my picture and we're going to effects going to search for track mat key so type in track mat key and drag this onto your photo and go back to effects control and here at mat we're going to choose video 6 where basically the white one is and now we have basically these three effects going on so to make or use the video transition these two are now separated so we need to select these two so the mask and the photo and make it one so right mouse click and choose nesting and press ok so now we can actually start animating or actually let's type in the text so we have all the design elements so we're going to use the T or press T on your keyboard and then press here onto the preview screen and I'm going to type in subscribe to Shonda let's make this end of the text white press ok and move this into the middle maybe a little bit of a thicker text um, let's do medium so now we have all the design elements here we can actually start animating this uh, video I'm going to effects and I'm thinking I'm just going to use only the wipe effect which should be enough to do like everything that we want and literally going to just drag and drop the wipe on every clip here the front and the back 
and we're going to of course afterwards make it more interesting because right now if we just look at this this is just very boring so it will still have we're still going to add quite a lot of things let's also at the end add all the wipes so we don't have to do that after anymore and here and the beginning wipe I want to go all the way to two seconds so here search for two seconds here so drag these all out to two seconds okay let's actually zoom in I think uh, some of them have passed the two seconds mark so two seconds and actually maybe the text one don't need to be two seconds that one move back here and we're going to offset the animation so we have like um, yeah something going on that's more interesting so hold down shift arrow to the right once so we have like a five frame difference here and move that and also shift arrow to the right again to jump five frames and move this here and now actually look at what we have now so this was quite interesting but it looks a little bit boring to be like a horizontal effect like this it makes it a little bit more interesting putting everything into an angle I think looking at the text yeah the text don't need to be an angle so just the f the one on the YouTube icon so these three we're going to select and go to effects control and choose this left top corner so each individually we need to do that and now if we play this we see this going on which of course looks much more interesting so now we can animate the out and let's also the wipe from the text let's make this going from the back so it's like going backwards and now actually also changed all the wipes here to the diagonal top left and let's start offsetting all of these so go to the end here hold down shift and arrow to the left jump five frames basically so another time and another one And let's see what we have now. So that was it. Hope you guys found this a very interesting video. If you are new to this channel and want to see more upcoming videos, please hit that subscribe button here below. Also make sure to hit that bell icon so you're always updated when I post a new video. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you the next time. Bye bye.